Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I'm going to do another flight of the SHRC SH7. Um, but this time, I am going to hook it up to my Wi-Fi extender from me. Uh, I want to see if that helps improve uh, the performance of the both the range of the drone and also its abilities. <laughs> I know it's. Uh, let's go over it real quick. Again, this is advertised with a 1080p camera. Unfortunately, it is only 720p. It is not a 1080p camera. Uh, uh, additionally, this thing is designed after the Helicute. Uh, you guys remember the Helicute? Well, this has been redesigned. Uh, it doesn't, no longer has a clear plastic top on, a, on it, clear blue plastic. Uh, it's a black plastic. But instead, and it also has been redesigned to include a 1200 milliamp hour battery. But it is a proprietary battery with a proprietary connector that can be charged with a micro USB port right there. Um, video is also recorded to a micro SD card right there, so that should help eliminate any Wi-Fi lag. But we'll see how well that works with this repeater. Okay, I saw a lot of Wi-Fi lag in the previous uh, videos that I did, and hoping, I'm hoping that this repeater will improve the performance of this drone. Let's go over real quick the controllers. Uh, the controller of this, this is your start-stop button right here. This, if you press into the throttle stick, that changes your rates. Moving up and down on the throttle stick, uh, Trim controls, moving it up gives you headless mode, and down gives you one key return. And this is your pitch and your roll stick. So that's about it. Let's fire this up. And I, before I came out here, I hooked this up to my Mi repeater here using the Mi Home app. And we're going to do that right now to make sure that we got uh, connections. So hold on, folks. Okay, I've connected the drone to my Mi Wi-Fi repeater, and I've connected my phone to the Mi Wi-Fi repeater. So the that's the direction signal's going from the drone to the repeater to my phone and vice versa. Okay, we are all connected here and I want to start the video. Video recording is started and starting the motors with a start button, giving a throttle, take to the air and let's go over, get in the picture since we are recording. See how do you like my shirt today folks? <laughs> Okay, let's go into headless mode. Headless mode is activated. Why do I want to do headless mode? Eh, well, this is why. I can do panning shots. Let's go up a bit higher. Okay, we got this Wi-Fi repeater. Let's see how well this works. Come got a headless mode. Before, I couldn't go very far with this drone. But hopefully now I can. And I am maintaining... Wi-Fi reception very well. So yeah, you know, these cheap Wi-Fi drones, uh, keep in mind that you can connect a repeater to them and greatly improve their Wi-Fi performance with a repeater, their flight ability. Let's go up even higher. Let's go over by the lights, see if we can maintain signal over by the lights, pushing forward. Went to higher rate, and uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> I'm going to get doused. I don't want my repeater, it already did get doused. <laughs> we'll come over here. Is it still connected? Still connected, so we're still good there. But we can come back down now. I got 12 minutes of flight time. Well, I get doused in that 12 minutes. But yeah, this repeater works very well with this drone, this particular drone, the Helicute. We're in high rate now. Let's bring it down and about. Now remember, this has advertised ability of follow me. Can we do that? Let's go out in the middle of the field so I got some room, wiggle room for it to drift. And watching those. <laughs> sprinklers yeah let's see here am I still recording I'm still recording let me hit stop recording for a second while I find uh, find the uh, follow me ability there it is let's see if it notices me first off drawing a box around me hitting the box
<laughs> They're sprinkling over this way now. <laughs> oh my. Let me get my... See, my uh, landing pad's going to get wet here. Hold on, let me throw that over here. Things that happen while you're recording. And my landing pad's getting wet right now. Oh my goodness. There we go. So, we'll finish that by going over here. Hopefully, we'll finish the flight before the next row of sprinklers comes on. <laughs> right there. But... We are still in follow me mode. Let me take my glasses off. How come it's not recognizing me? Well, it is. It is. It's just that the uh, Wi-Fi lag is just not doing a job to keep it pointed in my direction. Do I have to hit that box to make it red? Let me see. Let's bring it back closer to me. See if we get the box again. Do I have to hit the red button? No. Nope. Well, the Wi-Fi follow me just doesn't work very well on this particular drone. But we tried it. Let's come out of that. Come out of Wi-Fi. And just fly it around as a FPV flyer. Backing out. Trying to do two things at once. The app it seems to crash. <laughs> I lost FPV. There we go. Got FPV. Starting the video. And the app it did crash. I knew it. <laughs> so we're going to land it again. Land it right there. And restart the app. Hold on. Okay, app is recording to take off again, starting the motors. And that sprinkler is getting dangerously close. <laughs> Let's just finish the rest of the flight just flying it. We're going to its flight ability. Going past the sprinklers. It flies very well with its controller. And going back upwind again, higher in future. And plopping it there and rotating. Slow rotate, showing the camera on this drone. Again, it records directly to uh, uh, micro SD card. Now, unfortunately, again, it does not have a 1080p camera. Well, it might actually have a 1080p camera, but it just doesn't record in 1080p. Uh, that, the uh, designers of this <laughs> haven't got it in the 1080p working yet unfortunately that would be nice though huh if this had 1080p but it doesn't let me do one of these here what I why do I do this this helps sync up the camera uh, video in post-production when I make those kind of moves but we're gonna finish out the flight let's go see if we can get some significant distance on this thing going down the field here with the repeater using the repeater. It's actually flying very nicely, very far with the repeater. I was at about 70 meters there. See, I'll go down again. I'm over here, the repeater's over there. And I'm still getting FPV signal. Turning around and coming back. And then going back up again. Showing the camera one more time. So yeah, the signal is holding very well using the repeater. I am getting lag. You're going to still get lag. But uh, it's a lot less than you can go a lot further with the repeater than you could without the repeater. Coming back down again. And we're going to finish out the flight flying close in. Hopefully I can get, get back before <laughs> I run into the sprinklers. I've lost control. It seems to be landing itself. It probably lost signal right there. Yeah, I would say it lost signal. So we're going to take advantage of that and move a little further over. Okay, we have to move over here because the sprinklers started up right where I was at. We're going to finish off the battery down here. Uh, let's send it up. 
And we're just going to do fly, close in flying until that battery expires. <laughs> so, um, I want you to see it up close flying. Let me make sure I am recording here too, by the way. My camera is recording, checking in on my hat. But um, this is the drone up close. It is a good looking drone. <laughs> Interesting looking. Let me get my uh, thumbnail with this. Showing it up here. And syncing up the videos. Actually, I haven't started the video. Let's start the video recording. Video is recording, syncing it up. Because there is a, a noticeable lag between the two. But that's what you get with a Wi-Fi flyer. Okay, again, we are... Uh-oh. Now look at this. Look at this. Are they going to wa actually water the dirt? Let's find out. <laughs> I think they're actually going to water the dirt. <laughs> We're going to move over here, folks. Unbelievable, huh? Do they water sand? Let's find out if that water comes over this way. But I'm moving over here because I don't want to get soaked. <laughs> I had to come here at a better time of the day when they're not watering. But they do. Notice I don't have to do much to fly this drone. <laughs> That's because there's no wind today, folks. It's a windless day. There, yeah, I should be safe here. And... Let's go up, go into higher rate. Third rate. Now it's not a super fast flyer in high rate. Not at all. But that's that's its top speed right there. It picks up speed as it goes along. Flying it overhead. Let's try it the camera again one more time. We'll go upwind and higher. And again, that should be recording to its micro SD card on board. I'm going to rotate from up there, showing the camera. There's the moon up there. For those of you saying, what's that white dot in the sky? It's the moon. <laughs> and turning, turning, turning. Nice slow turn overhead. Showing its camera, and I'm looking at the FPV video. FPV video is working nicely. And then coming back down again. Pushing forward, and rotating to come back down. Are they actually watering dirt? <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently that was the edge of it. But let's bring it up closely again, showing you the drone up close. Get a thumbnail <laughs> and moving it out. Now, you know, this is an oddball flyer. If you look at this thing, let me stop the video, start it again. If you look at this thing, its front, let me bring it down closer to me, its front propellers are lower than its back propellers. I don't know if that's good or not, you know, oh, it's descending. I think that's the end of its battery battery power too. That is the end of its battery power. But uh, that's the SH-7. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Let me put it up here. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to talk about this real quick. Notice this. This propeller is down below this propeller, so it's getting a little bit of Don wash from the back propeller uh, hitting it. Um, I'm, I would imagine that would cause some issues there with uh, flight performance. Maybe also uh, jitter from, um, uh, you know, for the camera causing jello. If there is any jello on this video, we'll find it here in post production. But I would suspect this first of all. <laughs> you just don't do that. You don't overlap propellers. I don't think you should. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.